Jazakallah Molana. I really didn't want to speak and I told him that very specifically yesterday. But I can't say no to this masjid who's been so good to me all these years. Satar, thank you very much, you know, for arranging a short notice for me to come here to keep space for me because I know the mosque follows the rules very strictly for COVID-19. I want to carry on from where the Molana spoke. I missed the beginning of the talk. But what is said about respecting culture is part of Islamic teaching. We come from a mixed society. The Prophet ﷺ came as Rahmat al Alameen. And the Prophet ﷺ stressed about building relations with everyone. And this award that I got recognized for by, I was not aware of it. I didn't know how it started, but eventually it was brought to my attention that South Africans voted. Now we need to analyze that. Which South Africans voted? Was it Muslims only? Were they voting for somebody that's a non-Muslim? No. This vote came from across cultures, across religions, across people who don't have any faith to, who don't believe. They say we're atheists. But all of them were willing to vote for me. What do I symbolize? My teaching all the time is I stand for tariqah, for spirituality, for Islam, for service. So human beings, their souls aggregate towards goodness. It doesn't matter who you are, what you do, which religion you are. The country has proven that. That people aggregate towards goodness and people in their souls want to support goodness. And this is the beauty of Islam. Real Islam recognizes everyone. That's why the Sheikh told me, my son, I'm not asking you. I'm instructing you to form an organization. The name in Arabic will be Waqful Waqifin. Translated, it means gift of the givers. You will serve all people of all races, of all religions, all colors, all classes, all cultures, of any geographical location and of any political affiliation, but you will serve them unconditionally. You will expect nothing in return, not even a thank you. This is an instruction for you for the rest of your life. And whatever you do is done through you and not by you. Brothers and sisters, the Sheikh taught, the Prophet taught, Islam taught, that we have an open heart towards all people. And when we do our work, we don't look at race, color, or religion. We go into an area, we respect other people's belief systems, whether they're Christian, whether they're Hindu, whether they're Muslim, whatever they may be. We don't go and be judgmental about anyone. Only Allah knows the circumstances of people and what they believe. So when you have an open heart and you wish a person well for Christmas, which is a very sentimental time for them, or when you wish them Diwali, or you wish them anything else. They appreciate that. They show that you are not close-minded, you, you are respecting their culture, their way of life. You are not following that. And the, way, the best, way to, best, best way to understand this is, the first hadith that we are taught, actions are but by intentions. That everything you do, Allah judges your intention. So your intention, is it to become a Christian on Christmas Day? Is it to become a Hindu on Diwali day? Is it to become a Jew on their celebration? No. Your intention is to foster good relationships without following anybody else's culture. That's why the Prophet ﷺ taught us in Muharram, the Jews keep one fast, we keep two fasts. We keep the fast, yes, but we are different. In Christmas, we are different. We don't celebrate Christmas, but we recognize that other people celebrate Christmas. And when you do that, and only good works, if the whole country can follow a Muslim organization and support a Muslim organization, don't you think they can support our good works and build relationships and terrorism and negativity of Islam and Islamophobia can go away? What the message is, brothers and sisters, let's all of us do good unconditionally to any human being, be a Christian or Muslim or non-Muslim or whatever. We mustn't say Palestinians only, Syrians only, Iraq only, Afghanistan only, like other cultures don't exist in this country. Every human being, every mother, we go to the areas, you see the hunger of the poor children. You see the stress of the old people and the young people and the, men, and the, and the couples and everyone else. They have the same pain we have, they have the same hardship we have, they have the same anxiety we have, and when you bring ease to that hardship and difficulty, they will never forget you, they won't forget your religion, they won't forget that Muslims brought goodness. That's the teaching of the Prophet Sallam. We made nations, we made people into nations and tribes that they may understand each other. You know, and the best among you, not that they may cause conflict between each other. 
we brought you to understand each other, and the most honored in the sight of Allah is He that is the most righteous of you. So, brothers and sisters, Jazakallah, Imam, for this announcement. I, I salute the country. I say thank you to the country for recognizing us. But for me, it's a special message that as Muslims, in our work, we can be recognized by all cultures, all religions. And the best way to pay that back is we individually, as every Muslim, should go and do good, not to Muslims only, but to everyone in difficulty. And the final message, in Lavender Hill, one of the masjids in Lavender Hill, the Imams and the recipients of the masjid handed out food parcels that we gave for Christmas to Christian families using the community hall in Lavender Hill Masjid. Now that couldn't be a better example of building relationships. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.